Isaiah Thomas was back in the building on Wednesday night and he got a warm welcome from fans at TD Garden. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Joe Sway Pavone. I mean, we wouldn't expect anything less. Everyone here loves IT. He hit the first bucket of the game and there was actually applause throughout this crowd. So he he knows he told you pregame. He always has a home in Boston. Exactly. I mean, he still has a great relationship with Marcus Smart, with Jalen Brown, two of the guys, the only remaining guys from that last team that he played on here in Boston. But it never gets old for him coming back to the city. You know, it means so much to him. He got a lot done here, of course. The best years, playing years was here in Boston. And, of course, he went through a lot off the court, you know. Yeah. And that's something that also comes up or something that he's reminded of when he comes here. But one thing that Celtics fans are excited to see is him perform well and yeah. the Celtics win, you know. So that's exactly right. what they got Wednesday night, you know. Um, this is the Isaiah Thomas that I, I know we can see on a consistent basis, right. barring any injury. I think one thing that a lot of people tend to forget is that when Isaiah Thomas came to Boston, Boston formed their offense for him as opposed to having him integrated to an offense. System, right. So it's a system that he's going to have to find some you know, familiarity yeah. with, and he's on his way of doing that. So I, I liked how he picked the spots, you know, very efficient, 50% on from the floor, got out to a quick start, but he's not going to rush this, you know, and, and I think that's something that says a lot about Isaiah Thomas, how this is sort of that big moment, that chance to really cling on to a team like yeah. the Wizards and be an effective player like he was. And you touched on the relationship he has with Jalen Brown after the game in the locker room. Brown was say, joking around about Isaiah Thomas guarding him throughout the night, and yeah, he said he's crazy if he's not, if he thinks he can guard me. I think his braids were too tight if he's thinking he can guard me so the playfulness banter is still is still there great respect between these guys but let's talk a little bit more about Isaiah Thomas performance 18 and 7 something like that on the mm -hmm. night he looks like he's getting back to those dominant ways which everyone wants to see everyone wants to see him kind of shake the rust from all the injuries that mm -hmm. have been lingering and nagging at him all these years and he's looking um, like a more confident IT. Right, and you love to see that for someone like Isaiah Thomas. I mean, this is someone who's 30 years old. You know, he still has plenty of basketball left in him. You're hoping that injuries it doesn't, you know, rear its, its ugly head again when it comes to that, someone like Isaiah Thomas. But what I loved about what Isaiah Thomas said to me before the game was that he's not out here to prove people wrong necessarily. He's not out here to prove to everyone that he can still play. He's out there to prove it to himself. And I think that speaks volumes yep. for what the last couple of years have meant to Isaiah Thomas from losing his sister to, you know, having to battle back and fight his way to stay on or cling on to a team. So this is a really good sign for Isaiah. Of course, it's still early in the season, but you have to look at this kind of performance and think that yeah. good signs, you know, or good times, I should say, are on its way for the Washington Wizards fans. Absolutely. Hopefully. We'll see. And this Garden Report is brought to you by CBS Sports HQ, the brand new streaming sports news network. No logins or signups required. Just download the CBS Sports app and watch CBS Sports HQ today. For all the rest of our Celtics content, head on over to our website at clnsmedia.com.